I know, I know, I know. That was a flex, absolutely. Now, before I get started, it's important to talk about what my relationship with Akai is, which should be pretty simple because I don't have an official relationship with Akai. They do allow me to make my NPC gang apparel you'll see back there, my hats. So basically I just have their permission to use the logo when I'm creating merch for the NPC gang. I've never worked for them in any official capacity. I pay for this out of my pocket and I've never received any free gear from them, not even as much as a sample pack. But I actually got this unit with my own money and, and it was on back order from Zown, so I ended up getting it from Guitar Center, paid for it outright, made the investment, that's that. So now that that's all out of the way and you can see there's no conflict of interest other than my personal biases for the NPC, let's get down to brass tacks and talk about this unit. Pause. I wanted to take my time before I did a review of this unit and I'm not really sure that this is exactly gonna be a review. It's more my experience over the last few months and what I've discovered and what I've realized working with this piece of equipment since I bought it this summer. Now I know in this first drop, a lot of guys in the NPC community kind of cast off the speaker as like a gimmick. And my first thoughts when I heard about the speaker, I probably thought the same thing. But the more I thought about it when I decided to make the purchase and what I've realized over the last few months is that it's not a gimmick. It's a legit tool and more than likely we're gonna see more of them, not just on Akai products, but on all types of products coming out in the near future. And that's really why I'm making this video. I wanna be able to look back and say, I saw this coming and this was the first one to do it. I'm also big on giving people their flowers. I gotta honestly say, Akai really did something special when they added the speaker to this unit. The live was already a dope unit, but when you combine that to the fact that this is fully self-contained, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I really think it's made me a better producer. So let's talk about that for a second. I'm not saying it's made me a better producer in the traditional sense of makes my drums hit any harder or it's allowed me to make better bass lines or better melodies. I honestly make better melodies when I'm using a traditional piano roll in a DAW or the MPC software. So how has it made me a better producer? Well, remember those days when you were young and guys would be on the basketball team and you'd always see them with the basketball everywhere they went. They're dribbling, they're getting in trouble with their parents, the parents are telling them stop dribbling in the house. But that whole time, they're working on their skill set. They're working on their handles, right? And same thing with the football team. If a guy got stripped and fumbled during a game over the weekend, you see him with the football all week, coach would make sure he carried that football around with him and people would be trying to smack it out of their hands, right? And what was the goal of all that? The goal was to make sure that you protected the ball and it worked on your skills for the next week so when you got in the game, you weren't fumbling the ball. But it's very similar to what the Live 2 has done for me. I've become super busy over the past four or five months and just working on different projects, working on my channel, working on my personal brand, all those things take up a lot of time. And I'm a full-time dad as well, so during the daytime when my wife's at work, I'm typically just watching my son and not getting a whole lot done. And other than that, I'm not really super productive during the day. And this has really changed that. It just removes all the boundaries that I had to making music. You know, there's no cords to plug in. You don't need headphones. You don't need any outside peripherals at all. It's completely self-contained. I can throw it up on a counter or throw it up on a banister when I'm up in the loft with my son. So it's allowing me time to work on my craft, time that normally would be wasted because there's no way I'm gonna be able to lock my son in my studio with me without him trying to touch every blinking light in the room. But aside from my daddy time beats, which is definitely one of my most cherished times during the day now, there's just things that this can do that has never been done on this level of capability. I mean, the MPC 500, I believe, was mobile. And I'm sure there's other beat machines that are fully battery powered maybe, but with this, I can literally take it out of my bag, hit the power button, be up and running and making music in 15 to 20 seconds. And while you can probably get a similar effect with the MPC-1, as somebody who is mobile, as somebody who carries equipment all the time, I'm gonna tell you right now, setup and breakdown are real factors. When you have to take your MPC out of a bag, take a battery out of that bag, unpack it, plug it all in, sometimes you have limited space, and then when you're done, you have to disconnect it, stow it away, pack it away properly. It can get kind of complicated. And that's what I love about this thing. There's no setup, there's no breakdown. You pull it out of a bag, you hit power, you bang out for your set amount of time, and if something pops up, you have to go quickly, you throw it back in your bag, and you're off to finish your day. That's been huge for me, because as I go to visit family and go on family vacations and things like that, it's allowed me to be super productive during those times as well. And I honestly believe once things kind of open up and people are going back into studios normally, I think it's gonna be a major upside to producers who just wanna link up, play some music for clients, get a vibe, and collaborate. I'm super excited as well because this is the first time as MPC owners, we're able to truly have an instrument. I know before when people say, oh, you do music, what instrument do you play? 
It was always kind of awkward, you know, because we're using an MPC and we're like, oh yeah, I use my MPC and they're like, what's that? Now you could just pull it out and say, it's this. While previous MPCs are definitely still an instrument, the ability to be self-contained and have an instrument that's self-contained is something we've never had before. That's something that typically only acoustic instrument players had, right? You can kind of pull out your violin and start rocking out or pull out your acoustic guitar. Now as MPC producers, we have an instrument that'll run four or five hours with the speaker. It's self-contained. We don't have to plug any amps in, anything like that. It's just truly unbelievable to have that type of freedom. And it's something that once you've experienced, you never want to go back from. Now, I'm not saying every single beat that I do is outside the studio. I still love my studio time and I still love putting my work in in my comfortable lab, my sanctuary. But when it comes to inspiration, I found myself just inspired going to different places, different cities, being able to just pull this thing out, take it in my environment, take in my scenery and just make music inspired by what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. And that's really what that intro was all about. I'm back home in my old stomping grounds and just really feeling the energy of the city. And I really just wanted to make something that was inspired by that whole experience. This allowed me to do it super easy. So I know this might sound like some type of commercial. I just wanted to look back in the context of history and say, this is the one that did it. This is the one that changed the game. And I thought it was important to kind of document it because a lot of times new gear is constantly coming out and we're not really looking at how important something is during the time, we tend to have to look back at this equipment and realize what it did. And this is one of those things that I'm enjoying watching unfold. I'm enjoying watching younger and younger producers start getting into the MPC workflow. And I really think this is gonna bring a whole new generation of beat makers to the culture. What's funny is yesterday, I actually just saw this young brother, Eldre, who I've been following, really dope guy, typically uses Ableton, and he just got an MPC Live too. And he's got a pretty sizable following. So if you think that these young producers aren't smart enough to see what's really going on and haven't really caught on to the wave, you'd be sadly mistaken. What's about to happen in music production culture is something that hasn't happened in a long time. And that's people getting back to tangible goods, tangible hardware. And we've been seeing that transition happen over the past year or two. But now it's dope because some of the leaders of the younger producer communities are starting to see the value in having tangible equipment that's durable, capable, and most of all, just super versatile. So that's really all I wanted to do in this video. I just wanted to document this moment. I wanted to make it clear that what we are is producers and what we need is tools that make us more productive so we can produce more content, produce more music, and produce better results for ourselves with our craft. And in my humble opinion, in October of 2020, this is the best beat machine ever made for producers. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinions once again in the comments section. I'm sure this seems very fanboyish and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of guys who love the classic NPCs and other classic beat machines who are gonna think this is blasphemy. So thanks for tuning in, y'all. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one, all right? Peace.